Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing the Real Little Disney Backpacks from Moose Toys. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to Moose Toys for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview and an idea of the different items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. These backpacks are so awesome because they're Disney themed, they're inspired by different Disney movies and Disney characters as well. There's quite a few a part of the collection we're going to be opening and reviewing the different backpacks. There's over 70 different surprises to collect and they have an example of some of the surprises featured over by the front here. So all of these items are inspired by Mickey Mouse. So over by the side of the box, there's an overview of some of the bags that are part of the collection and some of the items you can collect. So for example, we have highlighters, notebooks, bag tags. This one's inspired by Mickey Mouse. Then we have a Moana one, a Stitch one, and this one over here is inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas. And over by the other side of the box, we have some more backpacks here. So there's Frozen, Little Mermaid, The Aliens from the Toy Story movie, and Minnie Mouse. And here we have an overview of the eight different backpacks that were featured in the packaging. Each set comes with a total of seven different surprises themed to that movie or character. Be sure to comment down below which backpack is your favorite. Mine would definitely have to be the Mickey Mouse one over there, the Nightmare Before Christmas backpack, and the Frozen one too. So let's go ahead and open up the first one. So the first bag we have here is inspired by the character Mickey Mouse. It says Mickey Mouse over by the side here. I love the pastel theme and there's some Mickey ears featured over by the top. If we take a look at the back of the box, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect. You won't be getting all of the items, just a few of the items they feature here, but they're all themed to different stationary items. Here we have an overview of the bag itself. I love how the ears are glittery. They're a lovely purple color. So there is a zipper over by the front, which you can open and close, which is perfect for storing away some of those smaller accessory items. Then we have the main zipper pocket that has all of the main accessories. There's some bright pink, purple, and blue. It's so pretty. And if we take a look at the back, it looks exactly like a real backpack. And there's a clip over here. So you can attach it to a pencil case or a backpack too. So let's go ahead and open it up to see what items are inside. And here we have an overview of some of the accessories inside of the Mickey Mouse bag. A lot of the items are themed to the character itself. So first off, we have a notebook. It features Mickey's face and the pages inside are completely blank. Then we also have a sticky note. There's an eraser which features Mickey too and a sheet of stickers as well, which is really great for personalizing and decorating different items. There's a bag tag which features Mickey's hand. There's a highlighter and it does actually work and it's a gorgeous pink color. You can have it standing up on your desk like that. There's also a letter set. So there's two sheets of paper with an envelope and there's lined paper inside. I think this is a really great miniature item to have in the set. And here we have the next backpack. It is inspired by the movie Lilo and Stitch. And if we take a look at the back, it just has some classic stationary items that you can collect, including a notebook, a highlighter, and we also have some letter themed items too. And here we have the backpack out of the packaging. It definitely reminds me of the summertime. The sunglasses are glittery and they're red and blue. Then we have Stitch's ears over by the side. I love how they added the detail of the face over by the front of the backpack. It's so stylish and definitely perfect for the movie too. So the backpack itself is mainly blue. If we take a look at the back, there's some straps again. And then we also have that clip as well. It's a lovely green color, which I think definitely matches the theming of the set. So let's open it up to see what surprises are inside. Let's take a look at the items that were a part of the backpack. First off, there's a notebook. It features Stitch at the front, and when you open it up, the pages are blank inside. The sticker set really is perfect for the movie. There's a total of four. There's some floral themed items, and then there's some characters over there too. Here we have some sticky notes. So it features Stitch at the top, and there's a floral design over by the bottom. I love this item because it's perfectly miniature size. And there is a letter set as well. So there's the envelope, and then there's two pieces of paper. When you open them up, it has some lines so you're able to write on it and it features stitch at the bottom. There is a tag over here with a floral design, a highlighter. This has to be my favorite item part of this bag. It is a ruler and there's also some stencil designs in the middle. This backpack is inspired by the movie Frozen 2. It's definitely perfect for the winter season. There's a snowflake design featured on the backpack itself. And if we take a look at the back of the packaging, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect. The backpack itself is blue and silver. It's blue at the front and it's silver over by the bottom and the back as well. There's a zipper at the front and the side and I love the sequin detail over by the front pocket here too. The bag is clear so you're able to see the items inside which is why the accessories are in a bag so you can't see what's inside until you open it up. So let's go ahead and remove the bag out of the backpack so we can take a look at the different accessories and items. 
This mystery bag so far would definitely have to be my favorite so far because it features the pencil box. So it's over by the corner here. It's pink and there's also some purple. There's some detailed designs over by the front and you can open it and close as well. There's a clip holding it in place and it does hold quite a few different accessories and items. Up next, we have an envelope with some letters and when you take a look at them, it just has lines at the front, it has some diamonds over by the bottom. I love the detail of the postcards because we have two over here, but there's also some stamps as well, themes of Frozen. We also have a sticky note and there's a pen as well. So the pen was inside of the pencil box and it does work. You can actually open it up by removing the lid and it features Olaf. We also have a bag tag here. here. There's a total of two postcards. And when you take a look at the back, there's some detail to make it actually look like a postcard, which makes it very realistic. And the set does also come with a sticker sheet as well. It features Elsa and Anna, and there's some snowflakes and diamond designs too, which ties back to the movie. The package did come with a total of two frozen bags. So I'm going to be opening up the second frozen bag to see if any of the surprises are different. It seems like the items are a lot smaller in this backpack. So I don't think the pencil box is inside of the set. So let's open it up. So here we have an overview of the items apart of the second backpack. You can see that there are some similarities in items, including the bag tag, the postcards, and the stickers as well, along with the letters too, but there are some differences. There's no pencil box or pen, but there is a highlighter and it's themed to Olaf. And then we also have that notebook as well. So it's really great to see how you can collect a variety of different items, even though you get the same backpack. And the next bag we have here is inspired by the movie Moana. The design of the bag is so pretty and it also features Moana at the front. And if we take a look at the back of the box, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect in the bag itself. And now that the bag is out of the packaging, you can see the design a lot clearer. So this backpack here does not have a front zipper like a lot of the others because of the detail and design. I do love the wave detail over by the bottom here and the bag itself is a blue color. So let's open it up. Let's take a look at the items that were featured in the backpack itself. So first off, we have some postcards. There's a total of two, and it also has some matching stamps as well. This here is what the back of the postcards look like. And over by the front, there are some details and design, which are perfect for the movie. Up next, we do have a notebook here. It says Wayfinder over by the side. And when you open it up, the pages are blank. The set does also come with a pencil. We also have a bag chain and this item is perfect for the movie. There's also a sheet of stickers with different characters and it's perfect for styling and decorating the different items. My favorite item and part of the backpack would definitely have to be the eraser featuring Pua. I'm so excited to open up this backpack to see the different accessories and items. This backpack is inspired by the aliens from the movie Toy Story. So you have an alien design over by the front and I love how the front pocket features an alien over by the middle there. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items you can collect. The backpack itself is a lime green color and there's also some purple and blue over by the back. So the front pocket features the alien here. Then we also have some more aliens over there. And then over by the back, we have some straps and it's green with some blue as well. So it's time to open it up to see what's inside. And here we have an overview of the Toy Story bag accessories. I love how all of the items are themed to the alien character. First off, we have a bag tag over by the corner here, then some stamps for the postcards. There's a total of two postcards. One says, I have been chosen. That one has to be my favorite one. I love the detail of it. Then we also have a ruler as well, and there's some stencil detail over by the middle. Then we also have a notepad. There is a pen. I love the detail of the pen with all the aliens stacked on top of each other. Then there's a post-it note and some stickers too. This backpack is inspired by Ariel from The Little Mermaid. There's some ocean themed designs on the front and I'm sure there'll be ocean themed accessories inside of the backpack too. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items that are part of the set, including some sticky notes and a highlighter too. The backpack is holographic and it features designs of flounder and Ariel. The zippers are gray and there's a front pocket and a main pocket. And here's what the back looks like. So it's time to open up to see what's inside. Here we have an overview of the surprise items featured in the Little Mermaid bag. So first off, we have a pencil box right over at the end. It opens and closes, which is perfect for storing away some of those smaller accessories and items. The front cover does feature flounder and Ariel, and there's a castle over by the back. This item here is a highlighter and you can remove the lid. It's a gorgeous pink color and I love how it's blue and pink and it's shaped as a mermaid tail too. 
We also have a sheet of stickers, some sticky notes, and a razor theme to a shell. And then we also have a letter set as well. We have two sheets of paper and then an envelope, and both the sheets of paper do fit in the envelope itself, and a bag tag over by the other side, which is perfect for styling the bag itself. This backpack is perfect for the Halloween season. It is inspired by the Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington. As you can see, the front of the backpack is black. There's some detailed designs on it, including some bats. And then as to the zippers itself, they're teal. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items you can collect, including a pen and a bag tag too. Let's take a look at the bag now that it's out of the packaging. I love how the front pocket here is themed to Jack Skellington's outfit. Then we also have the bow tie as well. The bat details over by the top here and the glitter finish is so pretty too. Here's what the back looks like. I love how the straps match the zipper and that teal color is so pretty. I'm so excited that this backpack had a pencil box in it as well. It's a gorgeous teal color to match the zippers of the backpack and we have a design over by the front, perfect for the Halloween season. Up next, we have an eraser featuring Jack Skellington, a pen, and it just says Disney on the front. Then we also have a highlighter as well and it features Oogie Boogie. I love how it can also be a miniature figurine, but you can use it as a highlighter and that's a bright yellow color. Then we also have a sheet of stickers as well. All I need to do is close this, there we go. Here we have the sheet of stickers. There's a few different options themed to the movie. Then we also have some stamps, two postcards, and a bag tag too. I love the detail of the postcards because they can be miniature posters as well. And the last backpack we take you a look at is themed to Minnie Mouse. It's a gorgeous rose gold color and there's a Minnie Mouse bow featured on the front. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows a few different items you can collect, including a pencil box too. And here we have the bag itself. As you can see, there's no front pocket. It just has the main pocket over by the back with the different accessories and items. I do love the bow featured over by the front. It's so perfect for Disney. And if we take a look at the back, the straps are a gorgeous pink color. And we also have this clip as well. So you can attach it to a pencil case or your own backpack. And here we have an overview of the accessories featured inside of the Minnie Mouse bag. And a lot of the items here are themed to the Minnie Mouse character itself. So first off, we have a notebook. It features Minnie Mouse at the front. There's a little star design and the pages inside are blank. We also have a highlighter too when you can remove the lid and it's a gorgeous pink color, which is perfect for the set itself. And I love how you're able to stand it up, which is perfect for a desk setup. Then we also have a bag tag, some stands, and some postcards as well. This one says mini, and this one features Minnie Mouse. There's a ruler, and it has some stencil designs over by the middle. There's a bow, and it says mini. There's a pencil, and then we also have a sheet of stickers too. And here we have an overview of a few of the backpacks I opened and reviewed today. Overall, I would definitely recommend the collection. I love the detail of all the different items, and it's so great how all of the accessories match the theme of the backpack itself. Be sure to comment down below your favorite backpack featured in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.